Hi guys, how are you guys doing today? In this video, we're gonna be doing this eyeshadow look right here. It's a nice cut crease eyeshadow look. We're gonna be using Unique's newest cream shadow, Victorious. It's a nice nude matte cream shadow and it makes cut creases so, so, so easy to do that anybody can do this. I posted this on social media the other day and I got so many requests, so I'm so excited to be doing this video so all of you guys can create this look right here. Now, if you like this video, make sure to give it a nice thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, I went ahead and primed my eyes with Max Paint Pod in the color Paintery. Now it's a crime not to prime, so make sure that you use some type of primer when doing any eyeshadow look. Then I'll be taking Unique's Mineral Pigment in the color Provoked. This is my absolute favorite color. I use this pretty much every day. Then I'll be taking Morphe's M441 brush, but any fluffy blending brush will work, and I'm going in windshield wiper motions from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner of my eye. Now, as you can see, I'm starting off with very little product and working myself up. It's a lot easier to add product to this look than take it away, so just start with a little product and work yourself up and make sure that you blend, blend, and then blend some more. You don't want any harsh lines in this eyeshadow look. I'll be taking Tarte Tease Palette. It's a small little tiny palette and the color BFF. It's a dark, dark matte purple color. Then I'll be taking a smaller blending brush. I'm taking the MAC 217 brush, but any smaller blending brush will work. Then I'm concentrating on the crease of my eye. I'm going from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner and then blending it out just a little bit. I'm not going to my brow bone. I'm concentrating just on my crease. You want it to be a nice dominant line. And as you can see, I'm doing small little circles to blend it out just a little bit, but definitely just concentrating right in the crease of my eye. Then I'll be taking Unique's palette number three and the color Tickled. It's a nice light pink color and I am using the same blending brush and going in the creases of my eye and blending it out just a little bit more. Now as you can see I'm going in small circles. I'm not really bringing it up to the brown boat. I'm staying still in that crease but I'm just blending it out um, so it's not such a harsh line but it's still a dominant line. Now I noticed that I wanted it to be a little bit more darker so I added a little bit more of the Tarte BFF and the Tickled mixed together and added it to the crease of my eye going back and forth, back and forth. In small circles I really didn't bring it up to my brow bone, I concentrated just on my crease. Now make sure that this is nice and blended together because once we get the cream shadow on it's going to be really really hard to blend it out so just make sure that you blend, blend and then blend some more. Like I said you could always add to this look but it's hard to to take away. Then I took the bigger fluffy blending brush and took the color provoked and then just made sure that everything was nice and blended and then there's no harsh lines. Then I'll be taking the star of the show, Unique's new cream shadow in the color Victorious. You guys are going to love this color. It's a nice matte nude color. And I'll be using Unique's cream shadow brush of course. Then I'll be adding the cream shadow to just the lid of my eye. Now as you can see, I am doing a nice straight line directly across my lid and then covering my entire lid. This is going to make sure that it is nice and cut and crisp. Now I went ahead and did the same thing on the other eye. Now even if you totally messed up and got it the other colors all over your lid, it really doesn't matter because this cream shadow is so pigmented that it will cover the entire lid and it'll make it look nice and crisp. On to wing eyeliner. I'm taking a liquid liner and drawing a diagonal line downwards and then another line down to my eye and then filling it in. Now I'm going as far out as I want and as thick as I want. All right, I'm gonna clean it up afterwards so it's gonna be even a nice crisp line afterwards. So don't be scared to go far out. We're gonna clean it all up. We don't have any foundation or any makeup on so it's gonna be really easy to do that. Then I'll be taking Unique's Shine and Makeup Wipes. These are so amazing. They not only remove Sharpie and your makeup, but they actually improve your skin tone as well too. So all I do is take that Shine Makeup Wipe and with my finger, I wipe off any excess eyeshadowing or liquid liner that I do not like. As you can see, it makes that wing eyeliner nice and crisp and sharp and perfect and it makes it look like, you know, you spent so much time on the wing eyeliner, but Really all you did was use the Shine Makeup Wipe. I love using this method. I've always used this method and for me, it's the easiest way to get a nice, perfect wing eyeliner each and every time. 
Now on to brows. I'm using Unique's brow pencil in the color medium. I absolutely love this pencil. It's so blendable and makes it look so natural and it's super easy. Now if you guys want a full brow tutorial, I will link it below, but for sake of time, I'm just going to skip right over this. Then I'll be taking Unique's precision pencil in the color perfect, which is black, and putting it on the inner waterline of my eye. Then I'll be taking Unique's dual-sided brush and with the color provoked, I'm going underneath my eyes from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner. I am sorry about my ridiculous face I'm making. I don't know why I do it every single time I do my under eye shadowing. Now all I'm gonna do is flip the brush around and take the color BFF from Tarte and go on the outer corners of my eyes, flipping it back over and then blending the two colors together. And there it is once again, the ridiculous face I make when I'm doing my under eye, eye shadowing. Sorry guys. And to finish off this look, I'm taking Unique's palette number three in the color Schmitten. It's a nice ivory shimmer shadow. It's beautiful and it's perfect for highlighting that brow bone. This is a completed look with mascara, blush, and lipstick. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.